Hi guys, I'm Carolina and I work with data. I am happy to welcome you back in 2021 for the first time, if we don't take into account my appearance in Becoming last week. This is going to be a very grim video. What a way to start. The world has obviously changed massively in 2020 and data jobs are no exception. For many data-related jobs like data scientists, machine learning engineers, etc., median salaries and the number of job openings have changed and they have changed for the worse, as you might expect given that we are living through a crisis. So today, as of January 2021, I'd like to give you an overview of the data job market for the following data-related jobs. Data scientists, data analysts, data engineers, machine learning engineers, and data architects. The data I'll be quoting today comes from itjobswatch.co.uk and it comes from the UK market. But before I dive right into it, I'd just like to say, don't be discouraged by this current turmoil. Sooner or later, things will get back to normal and all the courses you're doing, all the projects you're working on, all the internships you're doing, perhaps unpaid ones, they will all pay off in the end. 2021 is gonna be good, right? Okay, without further ado, let's do it. So basically, we are looking at the following three time periods in this video. The first period we're looking at is between July 2018 and January 2019. The second six month period we're looking at is July 2019 until January 2020. And lastly, July 2020 until January 2021, which is pretty much right now. Okay, so firstly, let's have a look at the number of permanent job openings requiring a given data professional. For data scientists, the number of job openings between July 2018 and now January 2020, number of vacancies dropped by 58%. For data analysts, by 57%. For data engineers, 16%. Machine learning engineers, 44%. And data architects, 59%. <sighs> oh, thank you. I'm sure you can notice two things. One, a massive decrease in the number of data-related jobs across the entire data ecosystem. Secondly, as you can see, data engineering fell by only 16% as compared to about an average 50-something percent for all the other data-related jobs that I quoted. Also, in absolute terms, it has the largest number of vacancies. This shows that data engineering is probably one of the most sought after and hottest data related jobs at the moment. Now the question is, why is that happening? Obviously, except for the fact that we have a worldwide crisis. The lower number of vacancies might simply indicate that people do not change jobs as eagerly as they used to before the crisis. They do not job hop as often, and because of that, they don't create vacancies you know, after they leave. So companies do not have to open new vacancies because people don't leave jobs, which would make sense because, you know, in the uncertain times, not many people are taking that risk of changing a job, you know, uh, going to a completely new environment, working with completely new colleagues, and not even having a chance to get to know the culture of that firm physically. Obviously, we cling to security in the face of uncertainty. But obviously, on the other hand, a fraction of that decrease might be explained by employers doing a cost-cutting exercise and simply not hiring new people or maybe even firing existing employees. Now, let's have a look at the median salaries across all those job types. Here again, I have a few comments. Firstly, as you can see, the median salaries didn't change that much. They are actually quite stable despite the current crisis. And in fact, data analysts and machine learning engineers appear to earn even more than before the crisis. But it is quite interesting to see a decrease in the median salary for data engineers. 
We've just reasoned that they are one of the hottest, yet they have seen a salary decrease. Why is that? It might be because there are more and more people upskilling and entering the market, so the competition becomes tougher and salaries go down. Or it might be that data engineers are absolutely crucial for many companies, so employers cannot afford not to hire a data engineer or not to have a data engineer because it is such a pivotal, pivotal member of the team. But because of the crisis and the pressures that those companies are facing, they cannot afford to pay super high salaries. And because of that, you know, the salaries are lower. And because we live in the more uncertain times, people accept those salaries because they want to have a job. Are data jobs an exception in the IT jobs market in the UK? Not at all. As you can see, the number of permanent job openings has plummeted across the entire IT industry. 61% decrease is a larger decrease than we have seen for any of the data-related jobs that I quoted. And when it comes to median salaries in the IT industry, they also remain quite stable, as you can see. The question now is, should that affect any of your decisions? To be honest, I think it shouldn't. We are obviously living through a crisis and as it was with the 2008 crisis and the dot-com bubble crisis and any other crisis before, things will slowly get back to normal in the end. It's actually pretty natural for an economy to experience a crisis every about 10 years. These are so-called business cycles, although obviously this particular crisis is not a natural downswing in the economic activity. But anyway, what I'm saying is that crises, crises happen and instead of panicking, we might try and look at them as if they were an opportunity. Because in fact, it is an excellent time to continue developing our skills, you know, given that we have so much more free time now since we can't see our friends or we don't waste time commuting to work, we can use that time to, you know, work on Python and SQL if that's what your heart desires. Mine is recently drawn to art. <laughs> Some of you asked me what direction is my channel going to take in 2021? And the honest answer is I don't know, but you can probably expect those humanistic videos of mine more frequently, or at least more frequently than last year. Okay guys, I wish you all the best in 2021. Do not be disheartened. Let's carry on working towards our dreams and I'll see you soon. Bye.